Hello everybody, welcome back to another Squealing Pig Guitars video. My name is Ben Keatley and today I'm going to be showing you this beautiful Gibson Murphy Lab 2023 56 Les Paul reissue. P90s and it's a gold top. It's an absolute corker, so let's try it out. Everybody. I hope you're all having a great day. Um, as I said in the start of today's video, we've got a very special guitar for you today. Um, we're going to be checking out this stunning Gibson Custom Shop Murphy Lab. Um, this is a 56 reissue um, from 2023, so it's very new. And this has the Murphy Light Aging, which is one of my favourite forms of relicking that the Gibson Custom Shop do. So let's go over the specs. So as I said at the start, this is a 1956 specification for a Les Paul. So you have two P90 uh, pickups, a three-way select switch, an ABR1 bridge, which is drilled directly into the top, and a tailpiece, um, stop bar tailpiece. Got a mahogany back and a maple top, and this maple top is covered in this beautiful gold top finish. Um, it's very regal in person, it's got a very rich gold to it. It's not a greeny gold by any means. We have a mahogany neck, which has uh, got that 56 taper to it, and we have a rosewood fingerboard. Um, we've got the kind of uh, vintage style clues on tuners, which are really nice. And yeah, it's just a very classic looking Les Paul. Um, what's really cool as well is you get the Gibson custom emblem at the back here on your trust rod cover. There is a replacement cover though if you want the body to be a little bit lighter um, in the case. This is a brand new guitar, so we do have all the case candy that comes with this guitar, and it comes in a really nice lifting style case. And as I said, this is a Murphy Lab uh, guitar. So basically the Murphy Lab series um, are, is a, basically a division of the Gibson Custom Shop, which is headed by Tom Murphy, who is their like artisan relic. Um, and basically it's overwatched by him and all these people will relic guitars uh, from the Gibson Custom Shop. So this is basically a 1956 Custom Shop guitar like any other, but it has that relicking finish. What you can expect for an ultra light aged Murphy Lab guitar is just a slight bit of finish checking, um, but no dents to the finish. So I'll get some close-ups, but the mahogany neck has a very nice kind of uh, cracking to it, as well as the body and the top. Um, it's quite noticeable, um, you can definitely feel it a little bit on the neck. Um, I find it quite comfortable personally, it feels like it's been played in and the fretboard edges are very nicely rolled. Some of the binding is actually taken off slightly, um, which again I'll get some close pictures to, but I think it really adds to that kind of vintage feel of a guitar. Okay, so let's hear this bad boy in action. I'm on the neck pickup to begin with. Let's hear it. beautiful tone on that neck pickup there. Um, what I love about P90s is even on the distortion tone, they have a nice balance to them. So they have a lot of treble because they are basically overwhelmed single coils at the end of the day. Um, but they have that ballsiness from a humbucker. It's kind of like the perfect middle ground between a single coil and a humbucker. Um, very, very dynamic. Let's hear the bridge pickup now again with that kind of more slightly distorted tone. <laughs> So let's hear the neck and the bridge pickup now, um, hopefully trying to achieve a little bit more of that kind of dirty blue sound, a little bit like a strat tone, if you don't mind me saying that. <laughs>
that's my favorite tone so far. Very balanced and um, obviously from a Gibson man, that sounds a little bit like a Strat to me, but I'm aware it has a lot more bass end. Um, but yeah, it's a very dynamic guitar, you have to admit. Obviously when you push the amp, you can get them more humbucker style tones. As you pull it back, you can get more single coil sounds. So these pickups are very, very dynamic. So now we're going to go a little bit more distorted just to hear how these uh, pickups can handle distortion. Obviously a lot of people's fears with P90s is that they can't handle higher gain tones. So we're going to see if they can. So let's hear it. So as you can hear, obviously they can handle the gain, but they are a little bit trebly. So you will be getting a little bit of feedback, especially if you're playing live. Um, in today's demo, we're actually playing this Marshall Silver Jubilee at about half volume. So it's very loud in this room and there is a little bit of feedback, but you'll expect that from it. So let's hear some clean tones starting on the neck pickup. I think this guitar is really perfect for a guy who plays Gibson a lot, um, but likes the tones of strats, but doesn't want to go over into that Fender world because they prefer the feel of Gibsons. And I'd really recommend this to a guy who wanted that kind of more single coily sound, but with the, you know, the Gibson kind of feel, um, this guitar hits all them points really nicely. Um, let's hear some more tones now. We'll go to the middle pickup or between the neck and the bridge. <laughs> So guys, thank you for watching today's video. I've really enjoyed making this one. This is a stunning piece. My final thoughts are, is it's one of the most resonant guitars I've ever played. Um, I really like the versatility with the P90s from distortion to clean tones. Especially for the styles I play, I find it's a very well suited guitar for me. Um, but let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, most importantly. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. But thank you for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys soon. Cheers guys, see you soon.